Hello Makeup Void, I am the Makeup Schizophrenic and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my makeup basket for the month of June. We're changing like the selection process up a little bit. I've already chosen all the products. I decided not to kind of film that process because I'm just trying to find the right way to do this video like for me. So as always, we're going to go through some of the products that I picked out last month, some things that I was kind of testing out to see if I wanted to declutter them. Spoilers, I'm not decluttering anything. <laughs> and just kind of a few of my thoughts on them, and then I'll show you what I'm going to use for the month of June. So with all that said, let's get going. One thing I do want to touch on is a couple skincare products that I hope I included in last month's video where I just really wanted to go back to some old moisturizer fave. It was, it's the Bliss Moisturizing like Gel because I felt like my skin really just needed something a little bit lighter. So I did go back to using that when I remembered and it was everything that I remembered. It was like meeting a lost lover after so many years. So I did enjoy that. And something else I did mention was the NYX Bear With Me Sunscreen Daily Moisturizing with Cannabis Sativa Oil Broad Spectrum SPF 30. I've actually only used this for a couple days because I was thinking like, I have an SPF already. It's the Australian Gold. Um, let's see if I can grab it real quick. Um, so yeah, it's the... Australian Gold Mineral Lotion Non-Greasy and Antioxidant Rich UVA UVB Protection. Um, it's a um, tinted one for your face. It's broad spectrum SPF 50. So I've had this for quite a long time. So my mind was just like, if I'm going to start incorporating skincare into my routine, which I should have been doing from the beginning, why not use this up first? So I have officially used this up. It did pretty much last me the entire month of May. So I've only used this one a couple of times. So really had a chance to complete my thoughts on this because I've only used it a handful of times since I just finished this a few days ago. But I have used it so far. It smells like sunscreen, just so you know. But it's not like super intense because it's also like a face moisturizer, yeah? Two products that were on the chopping block last month was the CoverGirl Clean Matte Pressed Powder in the shade, uh, what is it? Uh, medium Light, which is a total lie. Um, it's completely medium. And I was just so on the verge of decluttering it because it just wasn't working for my skin. And then the other product was the Catrice Blush Box in the shade Bronze. I don't know if you can even get these on Ulta's website anymore. The last time I checked, at least the bronze blush was out of stock or just completely missing. And I was kind of torn on these. Do I want to keep them? Do I not? I have somehow found a way to make this work when I use a really light foundation, like the, um, well, the tinted moisturizer that I also brought in last month. Like these two really pair well together. This gave me a little bit more coverage. It kind of deepened up. It, it made this look a little bit deeper, more closer to my skin tone, so I am going to keep this. I'm not going to keep this in my makeup basket for June because I want to play up some, I want to use a couple other powder products I have, but the blush box. I finally found a way to make it work. I finally found a way, and you remember the Bare Minerals blushers or blonzers that they tried doing in April, and you know what? When I use this just as a blush, it works. As long as I don't do any bronzer with it, it's just kind of like a two-in-one step. So once I figure that out, I have been enjoying it a lot, so I am going to keep it in. And a brush that I've been actually really enjoying with it is this Eco Tools. what is it, the Blending and Bronzing Blush. So these two are pretty much a mad match made in heaven. But this this is completely outside of the makeup box, but I forgot to include it in my monthly favorites video, which should already be up. I know it's up because I just uploaded it this morning. I need to ask them because I feel like Eco Tools is going out of business. Because something with Eco Tools is that you've never been able to buy directly from their site. And I bought these two brushes last month or was it last month? Month of May, I think. I bought these in the middle of the month and I fell head over heels in love with this one. This one I don't enjoy so much. Um, it doesn't feel very soft. It's kind of weird feeling, but this one, the um, bronze brush, it's, um, I don't know what collection they're from. Like this is kind of their OG collection. This is from a slightly new collection. Anyways, I was like, I love these brushes. I need to buy a couple. I need to buy at least one more of this brush. And the only Eco Tools products available on their website is like their jade roller, 
their brush shampoo and like a couple other things. And because you can't buy anything from the Eco Tools website, they do say, oh, you can buy their products elsewhere. So they provide the links. And for Target and Ulta, they're not there. I even went to a Target um, that I know have sold Eco Tools. There, it's like the same thing. So I have no idea what's going on with this brand. But a little bit of bummer. I meant to include them in my favorite video, but I didn't. So my bad. Another product that I mentioned that I was kind of be testing out is the um, Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. And I originally had the shade Fair Beige. Was it Fair Beige? Oh my gosh. These are so super close. I think it was Light Beige. Because you can see that what I said here. <laughs> beginning of May that if I enjoyed this concealer because it was it's just a smidge too dark for me if I actually enjoyed using this concealer that I'd buy a lighter shade and I technically did it's very hard to tell but I technically did and I do really like this concealer so I do so I'm gonna keep this darker one in my basket um, for another month for the month of June and I will explain like in a little bit when I talk about the products I'm rolling in but yeah I enjoy this concealer um, more than I anticipated. I think I would like it. I would like it more if I started off with the fair beige shade. Um, let me swatch the two because they are just so incredibly close to each other, but it's just the slightest shade change. Okay, yeah, on camera you can definitely tell. So this is the light peach shade, and then this is the fair beige. So fair beige is a really better um, shade match for me in terms of being a concealer. Two more products that I'm going to technically mention. In my first makeup basket back in April, I said that I was going to always just keep the um, Rev Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Concealer because it's like my perfect kind of like concealer foundation shade. shade when I don't want to do like a full face of foundation, I can just use this. And first of all, I'm running a little bit low on it. Second of all, I just don't want to keep, I didn't use this as much as I did, um, like I would imagine to, like the first, the first quarter of the year, I was really into using this a lot, but no mask life, so I've kind of been abandoning this, so I'm just going to put it back in my, um, my inventory, my whole makeup collection. Last thing I want, no, I'm lying, I want to touch on two more things. So, I included last month as like my face powder besides the CoverGirl matte is the Milani Prep Sun Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder. And I hit pan on it. Oh, look at that. So I hit pan. I enjoy this powder. It is very, very similar to the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Powder. So if you are kind of pissed off at Hourglass because of their awful shade range, but you really are curious of trying that ambient formula, this is a very good dupe for it. And I actually, I had the ambient lining powder as a mini and I swatched them two together. They are pretty much identical in terms of formula, in terms of texture. This is just, even though it's a transparent powder, it's, it's, it's like a smidge lighter. So it does have a little bit of that base pigment. So it works for me, even though I'm pretty pale. So I don't know how it's gonna work for deeper skin tones, but for me, it's a very adequate dupe. And then just something that I forgot to put back into my my whole makeup inventory spot is the Elf Flawless Finishing Powder. And I just didn't put it back, so I kept using it. And I already hit paint on it, and it broke. So I'm not going to open it. Like, at first, like, the lid broke. This happened to be the first time I got the powder, but, like, the actual powder actually broke. And so I've still been using it. I'm not going to repress it. Um, I've just kind of been crumb like breaking it up little by little with my powder brush every time I go to use it. So this is just going to stay in another month. I didn't mean to have it in last month, but I'm just going to keep it in because I know in June I'm going to be able to use it up. I know, I know. I keep saying I'm not going to mention a lot of products from last month. But I do need to bring up the fact that I was going to have a theme for May because it was like May and May the 4th be with you. And that theme, that joy lasted about four days. Once May the 4th came and passed, I was just like, yep, I'm done. <laughs> yep, I am done. I can't even show you. Maybe I can reach down. 
everything that I'm about to bring in is in the floor. So I originally had like my little ColourPop um, magnetic palette where I had like a lot of blues, I had a lot of quads of shadows, and I brought in all of my e.l.f. bite size palettes, and I was gonna do like a whole like Star Wars kind of quad like vibe theme for the month, and I pretty much didn't do it and I ended up even decluttering that video's not even up yet I declutter two of my elf bite size palettes I did it's gonna be a spoiler for the upcoming um eyeshadow singles declutter because I included those palettes and I decluttered them uh, I decluttered a couple after this month I was just like no no they're not gonna stay around so a theme kind of fails so we're not having a theme for June but I'm gonna just throw up the photo that I did for Star Wars Day for some reason that I can't remember, I was really cut on time that day. I think it was because I had to start work at 7.30 instead of 8.30. So I didn't do the most like elaborate, crazy like Star Wars look that I wanted to do because I wanted to do R2-D2 kind of vibes. So I kind of forgot to do that. Well, I did it. It just wasn't as good as I wanted it. I didn't give it the time that I really wanted to. That kind of failed, but I still had fun with all of the products I used this month. And in terms of all the eyeshadow palettes I used, I did, I probably already said this, I did upload my April and May monthly favorites already that went up on May 31st. So if you want to check out my thoughts on all of the eyeshadows that I used last past couple months and that was in the makeup basket, that will all, that's all included in that video. So, all right. Now let's start talking about the products that I'm bringing in to this uh, month of June. This is gonna be the month of eyeshadows. I'm just, I'm just gonna bring in a lot of eyeshadow palettes. Project, eyeshadow Project Pan, I don't know her. <laughs> we're gonna be going through a lot. So we're gonna start with face products. A couple things that I'm bringing in. There's, I'm not bringing in a primer this month. Um, I have always had the Physician's Formula Soft Light Blurring Primer Base. Uh, H to find activities, whatever the hell that means. Um, this is just always on my vanity. I use this primer to clean up my eyeshadow because I usually I always do that first. And I much rather use a um so I like using a primer to clean up my eyeshadow. Robert Welsh explained why that's better than my cellar water at some point. Um, I think it's because my cellar water breaks down makeup that even the makeup you want to keep, so it's much better to use a primer. So this is technically in my shot, my stash, but actually I'm going to be using it intentionally on my face this month. So I'm going to actually hopefully form opinions, even though Physician's Formula is no longer legit cruelty free. I'm going to try using this on my face because I have it. Let's go ahead and use it. Oh, also in this part of the video, I'm not mentioning any Project Pan items. Like, I'm just... I'm not going to before I film this video. I've already filmed my eyeshadow project pan update as well as like the f whole collection project pan update. So I kind of knew what I was bringing in. So I'm not mentioning those because spoilers, or is it going to be spoilers? It is going to be spoilers for the whole collection project pan. So I'm not going to mention those, but pretty much everything else. Okay, moving on to foundations. I'm bringing in my e.l.f. camo CC cream um, foundation. CC creams. Um, I originally bought the shade Fair 120N. That's a smidge too light, so I bought Light 120N, Match Made in Heaven. I don't know how much I'm going to use of the light one because I do have my Zoeva foundation in my project pan, but for sure I'm going to be focusing on this one. And I actually comboed these two today, which works stunningly. I love it, but I also feel super freaking glowy, but I'm also not mad about it. So these are being included. Like I said, I was going to keep the darker shade of the um, Hydrating Camo Concealer because I am going to pair it with the Elf's, the matte version, the OG version, because I swore by this concealer. I've gone through several tubes of this, and so I just kind of want to pair the two together. It's a little bit lighter, a little bit darker. I'm, wondering, I'm doing the whole thing where it's like if I combine like the matte version versus the light one, if I like them together or on its own. So today I just use this one. And I'm, I'm, I'm feeling the wrinkles, I'm feeling, I'm feeling the cakiness under my eyes, but it might also have something to do with my powder, so I'm bringing in both of these still. Well, this one's staying, I'm adding that one. Okay, face powders. I'm bringing in my Makeup Revolution powder. Um, I put it in this um, just generic one because I hated the packaging of the big one. And I know I'm getting low on this. It is basically flour on your face. Like, 
a hundred percent this is basically putting flower and it's like it's so dense like I can see kind of the inside finally but I know I'm running low on this um I'm glad I took a break from this because I was using this pretty much like non-stop last year and so I'm kind of afraid to bring this back out but I have it I need to use it up the chopping block product for the month is the essence high beauty with hemp seed oil matte finish fixing compact powder um same same issue with the covergirl one except this one's a translucent green one and I uh, can you see maybe that foundation that got on it if I don't like it, I'm going to declutter it. I bought this off the recommendation of Kelly Goot, who doesn't really have oily skin, so I'm not quite sure I bought it off her, why I bought it off her recommendation. No, she said it because it didn't work for her skin, but it would probably work for really oily skin people. That's why I bought it. But same issues as the cover girl. I was having the struggle of it picking up more foundation than it, I wanted it to, so we're going to give this a go around. Moving on to bronzer. It is June. We are going into summer, so I absolutely had to bring in my Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze Bronzing Powder. This is just a very light bronzer, but it creates the most a beautiful glow on the skin, so I'll use a matte bronzer um, pretty much everywhere. I'll kind of do the fake contouring and like on my nose and underneath my chin, and, but this one I just pair on my cheekbones and on my forehead. I absolutely love this bronzer. It was total fave last year. I got it on sale at some point. I adore this, so we're bringing it in because of the summertime. Blushy, blushy, blushy. So I hit pan on the blush I was having in my deck of panning, Project Pan. And again, don't have to wear a mask anymore at work, so I'm not. And I've, oh, I've been like, now it's like, okay, now is my time to start dipping into cream products. So I've been looking a lot at the Flower Pop not the flower pop, the flower beauty, like those, um, flower bomb, like cream liquid blushes. And I've been so tempted by them because they've been raved about for such a long time. But I, I have these two color pop super shock shadows. And so, you know what? I'm going to use them this month. I originally bought these for my gym makeup bag when I was going to the gym. But it can't because it's expensive. Um, so I bought these for just kind of like an of like both after gym workout, before work kind of make up wanting to have a little bit of something on my cheeks. So I'm gonna bring these in this month because to kind of get that cream vibe going in. So I have my ColourPop Land Gum Drop Pass, and then I have the Drop of a Hat. Both of these are from limited edition collections, but I tried the gumdrop pass today and I don't hate it. I I really don't. Maybe it's because I was using it just like pretty much on bare skin with like a light dusting of powder that I wasn't a fan of it. But using it today, I really like it. It gave me an extra glow. And so this is going to be fun today. Plus it smells really good. So we're going to give that a go. And in terms of the drop of a hat, this is a really peachy kind of dark um blush with the gold reflect so it's gonna it worked really good on like my no foundation post gym workout face so I don't know how it's gonna go like layering on top of everything how dark it's gonna get but we're bringing it in gonna try to soothe that cream uh blush need that I have in my soul now and then we're also going to go through and test out the Alva Flower, Flower Blusher from Odin's Eye. I used this in a Get Ready With Me, I think, last week. And we're going to take a month to devote to it pretty much, see how well this goes on its own. I might bring in another blush mid-month just because these are very distinct colors. So if I'm just not finding the right blush I want for a look, I might bring something else in. But I'm going to prioritize these three. Alright, highlighters have my project pan highlighters so I have it's been a long minute so I'm going to bring in my give me glow white noise highlighter the most blinding highlighter in my collection I've missed it I need to bring it back out so we're doing that and then the elf baked highlighter bronzer duo in rose gold I don't know why I bought this honestly um I thought I needed it for my full face of elf video back in January 
but I pretty much haven't used it since, so I'm gonna bring it back out. I don't really use the blush on its own, I just kind of mix the two together, and it's actually the highlighter on my face, and I don't know if it's because of all the illuminating products underneath, but it's pretty popping today, so I'm not upset. So this might be an unexpected fave come next month. So I'm only going to bring in a couple lip products to focus on. Funny enough, I didn't mention this earlier, but the NYX Liquid Suede, I was like totally gonna bring into May for like that grunge look, and then my deck of panning project pan happened and so this is technically in the project pan now so it's staying and then two other products i bought this i think in april the nyx shine it loud boundary pusher like the liquid lipstick on one side the gloss on the other i haven't even opened this like the plastic um seal is still on it I, I need to try it. Like, this is the month I'm gonna give this a shot. So that definitely needs to happen. And the news about Ofra, which is super, super fucking shitty. Like, I, it's, it's just, so if, if you don't know, the vice president, like, it came out about the vice president wearing, like, a Trump make America great again, holding a flag, and doing, like, a very white supremacist um, hand gesture, which is really freaking awful, and it was, there's, it's, it's just a whole bad situation. Um, he donated quite a bit to the Trump campaign, but with that in mind, I'm still going to use the products that I have. I don't have that many over products. I think I only have 30 at this point. Um, two of their highlighters, and then I have this super old packaging. The name is actually worn off. Everything about the lip product is worn off, but this is one of their, um, it's one of their liquid lipsticks, super old packaging. I've had this for years. It was the shade Emerald City. It is a brown to green liquid lipstick, and with a base, it is stunning. It has like an oil slick look to it, and it's fantastic it is a moment in time and because of the situation what's going down i want to use this up i want to get a lot of use out of it because it's like it's perfect for like a like an out there bold look it's kind of like the same deal with like a black lipstick where it's like you need a specific look a specific aesthetic for it but it's amazing so i want to use this up plus it's getting old so this might be its last two run i might just um, declutter this at the end of the month, but then I will definitely be on the hunt for another liquid lipstick with that kind of oil slick aesthetic. Alright, last thing to cover is eyeshadow palettes because we are bringing in... Wait, I have one more lipstick actually. I got lost. It's the Odin's Eye um, Velvet Lipstick in the shade Red Cherry. This was another thing in my mystery box, so I'm going to pop it out this month. And you know what? I need some more... All of the lipsticks I'm bringing in are pretty bold. Oh well, I guess it's gonna be a bold month for lipstick. Okay, now on the eyeshadow palettes. We are bringing in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Also, my little um, singles collection <laughs> on top of my project pan. On top of my project pan. Yep, I know. This is still being reviewed. Um, this is the Tarte Cosmetics Make Believe in Yourself um, palette. It's super old. I repurchased it. <laughs> Apparently missed it. Got it on Mercury like in 2019 because it's like, I miss it. I, I really don't have any words for this. Just it's on the chopping block basically. I'm either going to fall in love with this palette or I'm just going to like let it go because I don't see the point in it. And it also does have a highlighter in it, so it's technically be another highlighter to include. It's not the greatest highlighter, but it's really powdery. Um, and like not in a good way, like a chalky kind of powdery, so mm, we're gonna see how it goes with this month with that palette. Next up, the two um, Alva palettes from Odin's Eye. Haven't, my first time using them today was the Mini Sky and I literally only use the shade Cloud. I pretty much, it's like half of what's in my crease today. Um, I mixed it with another shadow that you'll see soon. So I'm gonna give these a try this month. I wanna either, I don't know if I wanna do like a dedicated video to them because they are really old, 
but I'm also kind of feeling like a palette bingo with the North palette. So maybe I'll do a palette bingo with all three of these this month. But I want to be able to get a firm grasp on my opinions um, for this coming month so I can include them like in a favorites video at some point. Whether that's at the end of June or if it's at the end of July. Like we'll just see what happens. Um, another palette. <laughs> Try it. Honest Beauty. Did I bring this in last month? I don't know. But... This palette needs to be used. I need to form an opinion on this. Anyways, I thought I needed like an affordable neutral palette. Like this is 20 bucks. I bought it at a whim at Target because I thought I needed it. So probably a get ready with me palette. But we're gonna try it. I need to bring in the By the Voss Duco Sugar Crystals palette. I've been thinking about it all month. I miss it. I wanna bring it in. I wanna play with it. I'm just, I miss it, okay? That's a palette that I, like, it's not for review purchases or anything. I just really want to play with it. Then another, the last palette before my singles is the Pure X Raw Beauty Christ Christy palette. And the reason why I'm bringing this in is because Manny MUA with Lunar Beauty, like he's the owner, his first palette was called Life's a Drag. And he has officially discontinued it, but he came out with pretty much its better self which is the Life's a Drag facelift. And I've been waiting, I'm waiting for the palette from um, his, Manny's brand for me to be like, yes, this is the one for me. This is the way I'm gonna try his brand. And every time I'm like, I like you, but I don't like you enough. But I'm still thinking about Lunar Eclipse, like his dark grungy palette from last year. But looking at Life's a Draft um, facelift, I kept seeing it and I was just like, this is the Raw Beauty Christie Pure Palette. Th that's what that palette is. So instead of trying to convince myself to want it, I'm going to use this to satisfy my craving of it. It's so many. And then for my singles this month, um, I just grabbed a few given my Project Pan eyeshadows. I rolled in a blue. I rolled in this really pretty shade from um, the Wahala Tea Palette from Juvia's Place. It's the shade Fake. So I'm thinking like blues and purples to incorporate the creams. And so I did quite a bit of that. I have two of my JD Glow shadows, this Kiko Milano shadow, because I barely touched it. So with the shadow from the Odinside Mini Sky, I kind of did that with the Kiko shadow, just kind of all in my crease. I only used three shadows today. Who am I? Um, so that's pretty much what's on my lid today. I mix those two together. And then I have my uh, yellow matte Terra Moon shadow because it's the last one I haven't tried. I have the other Terra Moon shadow that I probably haven't spent much time on. This is in the shade Hydra. So I have those kind of going on. I love how, to me, it looks very pink, but on camera it looks blue. I love that. I love it so much. Um, Project Pan from Deck of Panty. Deck of Panty. I've hit pan in my two eyebrow shades, so I'm bringing in this one from ABH to use it again. I had I had um, pan on it for the brow sh for my brow shadow before, and then I repressed it. So um, another JD glow right there to play with the blues. This one's anomaly, and what's this big boy? Um, it is the shade secrets. So I have those to play with. I have. This is from, I think this is Red Chameleon. Yeah, from Cindy Grace. So I haven't used this in a while. It's kind of like that green, red, brown, duochrome kind of vibe. And then lastly, I have a pressed glitter from um, ColourPop. Just because I haven't used a pressed glitter in a while. And it's it, it looks white and kind of silver in the pan. But it really just kind of amplifies whatever shadow is beneath it. So I think it's going to be a fun, interesting way to kind of jazz up any looks this month. So that is it. <laughs> Seven kind of eight eyeshadow palettes on top of my five palettes for my Project Panty. It is going to be a colorful month to say the least, except for the Honest Beauty palette. It is going to be a month of color, so thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you could do me a favor in giving this video a like, thumbs up, and subscribing to my channel, I do upload three days a week, Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 6 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Just as a heads up for this month, we're going to be going on a little bit of nostalgic train. Honestly, um, I didn't even think about that video. That's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and do me a favor and giving this video a like and subscribing to my channel. I do upload three days a week, Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 6 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. I just realized I have pretty much three rainbow palettes in my basket this month.
Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really excited for this month. I have a couple videos that I've been planning on pretty much since I started my well, restarted my channel in January. And so now that it's coming to July, I get to start filming those videos so they're more accurate or more accurate, just more recent sort of deal. So it's not like you look like you filmed this video like three months ago. It's I, I'm not like, yeah, I did. As always, guys, have joy.